A British grandmother on death row in Indonesia for alleged drug smuggling has lost her second appeal to have her sentence reduced. 57-year-old Lindsay Sandiford was arrested in May of 2012 after customs officers found more than 10 pounds of cocaine worth almost $3 million in her luggage at an airport in Bali. According to ITV, Sandiford was sentenced to death by firing squad back in January. That ruling surprised prosecutors who recommended a 15-year sentence. The Guardian points out Sandiford tried and failed to appeal her sentence back in April, so she tried appealing it a second time. This time around, a panel of three Supreme Court judges unanimously blocked Sandiford's efforts to appeal her sentence. It's important to note Indonesia has some of the strictest drug laws in the world. In court, Sandiford said she was blackmailed into carrying the cocaine after her two sons were threatened by drug dealers, but prosecutors said she was part of a drug ring. With two failed appeals, Sandiford is faced with just two more options. The Australian reports she can either have a judicial review of the ruling or get presidential pardon. Judicial review might be a tough option because Sandiford would have to prove the judges were negligent in their ruling or she'd have to prove new evidence. Her home country has been supporting her while she takes on her legal fight, but hasn't helped her pay any legal fees. A spokesman for the British Embassy in Jakarta said, in line with our strong opposition to the death penalty in all circumstances, we will consider how to support any application for judicial review or clemency that Lindsay Sandiford chooses to make. British leaders have also raised concerns about Sandiford's treatment in jail, saying she's been threatened by a gun and is being sleep deprived. Thus far, Indonesia has carried out five executions for drug-related crimes since 1998. For Newsia, Megan Murphy.